So apparently Joe was wrong. We were all wrong because he's thinking that this world actually, you know. I don't know why he doesn't learn. Apparently, Marion can do that. She can. I just call and talk to them. They, she can. Anyone can call up and take their name off the utilities and you can put them in. She can. She can do that. She can call up and remove the utilities. and she, she probably already knew it. We just didn't. Wait till I tell Joe. So, whatever. This is what my life's become. Maybe I'll just sit here and no one can stop me. If she can fucking do that. And I, you know, you know how expensive it is? I can feel the cold coming through. This this is not insulated well. It's really expensive in the winter time. And if I have to go through the process of having her evict me because I don't have a penny and I'm going to hand over every fucking penny in my bank account, just about, you know, I mean, keep like a hundred bucks or something. But actually, I have to keep a little bit because I have to pay the attorney for when my mom and I saw him and for when I saw him on my own. And I just left him a message, you know, where was my aunt when when I was crying to you, crying not just to you, to her primary care physician, oh, what can we do about my mom? How do we save her from her? What, what can I do? I'm in this position. I think really, yeah, where was she then, huh? Where was she when I was trying desperately to figure out how I could help my mom, save my mom? Where was my aunt then, huh? Tell me, people, where was my aunt then? Nowhere to be seen. She didn't want to be involved. And she knows that my mom will turn her, and then she just swoops and it saves the day, doesn't she? So maybe I'll just sit here with the cold and no, no light, nothing. No one can stop me. Apparently she can legally turn it off and force me to turn it on. So, and if I, so I can choose to not turn it on, right? This is what my life's become. So maybe I'll just do that because Joe's not going to believe it. And it's still on now. It's probably just scheduled to be shut off. It'll go off at some point. But see, you know, and then I won't wind up doing that because I won't be able to stand it. But that means I will be able to save up even less money while she's in the process of evicting me, you understand? Even less money than my mom would always promise me. Why wouldn't she? Even when she, she's thinking she can live alone, which I, I know she can't, but I have to go along with it, whatever, and then talk to professionals behind her back to, you know, if my mom thinks she can live alone. I know she can't. I don't want her to become a ward of the state. Where was that to you when I'm worried sick about all of this? Where was she? Tell me. She was nowhere to be found. She set me up to take the fall and then swooped in to save the day. She said, oh, elder service is going to call you verbally and, be, and we don't want to repeat it to the other 14. So I, no, you called elder service. You grabbed your opportunity, Auntie. You know my mom turns on anybody who puts her in the mental hospital. You know I'm dealing with an impossible situation. She wasn't right from day one. They discharged her too soon. Wait till Joe hears this. Auntie's right. She can do it. She's now my mom. She, she, anyone can call up and remove their name from the utilities. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'm going to sit here in the cold, in the dark, with my dog, with my baby, okay? And tell everyone what my aunt did to me. Because if I have to do this, I, you, can you, do you know how expensive it is in the wintertime in Massachusetts for utilities? It means I'll have to be able to save up even less money while she goes through the process of evicting me. I know it's really high. I, mean, I know it's, it's pretty high. But it doesn't even matter. I'm turning over every penny. Because it technically all belongs to my mom because she made more money than me and, and started off with more money in the bank. So, I'm turning over every penny, and if I'm only saving up my thousand a month, and obviously I cannot turn on the the the, the, the Comcast, that would be another hundred. That, that's not happening. So. I just have to do it. I didn't even think I could. But she's right, I can. So.
Why doesn't she just fucking sell my mom's house? And she's not gonna do that. Why would she? She wants me on my knees and at her mercy. She's not gonna just sell my house. If she sells the fucking house, what's giving me a small amount of money to get out of her life forever and start a new life? But she won't do it. You believe me, she won't. I can guarantee you she won't. We let Joe finds out. So basically, when she told me two years ago, don't leave your mom's house, if, if you know, they've appointed her the temporary guardian conservation, whatever, whatever you do, don't leave your mom's house, they can't sell it as long as you're in there, and then it's winter, they can't evict you, and they won't shut anything off on you, but I thought they legally couldn't, but apparently they can, it's just she figured they're not going to do that to you, you're your mom's, just, they can just pay it, but it, the same doesn't apply to her, so... In her eyes, of course not, because I'm fucking scum. But again, I ask you, where was Marion when I was busy just beside myself, crying to everybody, to lawyers, trying to take the possibility of assisted living? Remember, one of the things, my, 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 Marion just swooped in, opportunistic, okay? Because I'm the bad guy, I'm the one who suggested assisted living to my mom. Meanwhile, was Marion going to tell my mom that she, she said to me two months ago, your mom belongs in a nursing home? Basically, you remember less in a nursing home, but you're responsible now. You're the health care person. You, you have to handle it, Laura. Yeah, up until my mom, you, you, you lived with the day that my mom would, would, that's why Joe wrote in his thing. Your aunt always wanted you out of the way. You have lived with the day my mom would turn on me, and then you grabbed your opportunity. All while looking like the savior of your sister. From her monster of a daughter. Unbelievable. Apparently it hasn't been turned off yet, but it's going to. It's probably just already scheduled. I gotta tell Joe he was wrong. So I'm telling all you guys you were wrong if you thought I I I didn't imagine it, but apparently, yeah, she can. She can. So I just left messages for the woman down the street and my friend. So does that mean she can also come here whenever she wants? I mean, they're treating her as if she is my mom, and my mom can come here when, whenever she wants. And I'm afraid of Marion, so can I get a restraining order? I mean, how the fuck does this work? This is a joke! This is my home of four years, you assholes! reason for me to not turn on the heat of lights because she won't want to come here if this is freezing in here, right? She won't want to come here in here and torment me verbally. And she's done it in the past, okay? In 2009 when I was at my home, I, I was visiting my mom, I went up in the mental hospital and, and Mary came barging in here and I said, get out of my mom's house, I have every right to be here, I have a power of attorney, then she proceeded to chase me all around the house, this, 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 whatever, you know, she had every right to do it, oh. apparently now she does again, so I'm not going to turn on the fucking lights and heat, if she can turn them off of me, I can choose to not turn them on and save 300 extra dollars a month.